Meanwhile, the only cemetery on Guam for local veterans has no money for maintenance and operations. This has officials worried the site won't be able to cope with daily upkeep and services for new burials. Department of Veterans Affairs Director Fred Golfigan says around $180,000 is needed to fully fund all of the cemetery's needs. The veteran Charlie Irwin says that thousands of veterans on Guam contribute to the island's economy through their federally funded benefits and therefore they should be taken more seriously. We know that the, the government of Guam is cash strapped. Okay? We know that condition exists. My point is this, through the efforts of this man and the staff in this building over the last five to six years, we have jumped from like $2.5 million direct return to Guam in the form of benefits to $24 million. What? They're seeking the assistance of other agencies like the Departments of Public Works, Parts and Rec, and Corrections for bush cutting services, use of their equipment. Now, historically, the cemetery has had trouble getting consistent funding from the government of Guam. Sean Gumatautau, spokesperson for Governor Felix Camacho, tells the Pacific News Center at a loop while they will support the cemetery 100%, all agencies under the lump sum budget will experience shortfalls.